this is. <laughs> Whoa! Ooh! This is gonna feel good. Welcome to the pilot of my new weekly YouTube show, Not Normal. Six months ago in Dublin, Ireland. Sir, I'm gonna need you to get off flight back to South Africa. <laughs> I don't get it. What about my flight to JFK? I don't know. That's not our problem, sir. Come on, sir. Let's go. If you take the clock even further back to around a year and a half ago, I was in Mumbai, India. Directing a TV commercial for the Indian Premier League. I was on the super big set with hundreds of people everywhere. I had become everything I couldn't stand. An egocentric TV commercial director fueled by creating brand narratives for major companies with no real value to the people that watch them other than to sell them something. After I called rap, That's a rap. I flew back home to South Africa and decided to start right from the beginning again to figure out my fucking purpose in the world of film and media. My friend Casey then offered to teach me the ropes of running a successful YouTube channel by taking me along on the ride with him while creating his new daily show called Three Success. So I flew to New York and decided to give being a YouTuber a go. I had began to find meaning within filmmaking again. Which is a super strange perception shift from someone who used to pride themselves on aesthetic work that took months to create. Not these daily YouTube videos, but the constant creative stimulation and pressure of having to click the upload button hooked me almost instantly. We went on to create something new every day for 100 days. I went from being a test dummy for a pizza delivery drone. You're smart! sleeping on the floor in London, but not once was I concerned if I had made the right move by leaving traditional TV commercial film directing behind. As soon as I decided I wanted to do this for good, I applied for what you call an O-1 visa. I'm just gonna pause there for a second. Basically, the way that it works, even though South Africa is no longer considered a third world nation, it's still treated as such when it comes to border control. And then when it comes to acquiring a working permit, that's in a whole nother league of its own. The working visa that I applied for is known as the O-1 visa, which is arguably the most complicated permit to acquire. You basically need to be at the top of your game in the sciences, arts, or sports. Reading this description gives me complete anxiety. I hate how this works, but I guess it has to be done. I was super fortunate to win a few Young Directors Awards at Cannes. Good! It is good! And, and this really helped to push the visa process forwards. I just want to say that I'm super grateful for all those opportunities and for everybody that's helped me along the way. But before it could get signed off, I had a fly to Belfast and Ireland to say a speech, ironically about my next moves when I would get back to New York and how I was going to start a new season on my channel. But when going through immigration at the airport on my way back, the officers wouldn't let me back in the country on suspicion of being paid to work. An important note. Everything I did was above board. I was aware that I would have to find my way through those six months, so I planned accordingly. But in their eyes, who would make films for free? I would. I was made to return home to South Africa. I contacted the lawyer. They said it could take any time from a week or a year. But I just couldn't base my future on a timeline like that. So I shifted around six months of my career and began my previous ascent, but this time from a completely different side of the mountain. All because I couldn't flop my idea of creating a global community of brew. So I began to transform this garage into a collaborative working space called the Brew Headquarters. To keep the flag flying high from the southernmost tip of Africa. I hired Jonah and Luke to help me put together the next meteoric step. Not normal. I did a ton of brand deals for the first time this year, and even though I tried my utmost best, my channel took a bit of a knock. But it's all part of the plan, you see? I was able to, <laughs> thank you. I was able to save up a lot of cash for my new biggest project on YouTube. YouTube. 
And wait, that's not all. My O1 visa arrived. Stay away, it's got a hold on me How I've been waiting to prove you wrong And now I finally get to sing this song Cause I'm back And now I'm back Dan's back! So, Dan, what have you been up to? I'm back in New York. Yeah, I know. I mean, I, obviously, <laughs> obviously. We're in my office. Tell me something I don't know. So, Dan, what else are you up to? I'm starting a new YouTube show, okay. which is called Not Normal. I built this map um, where you can come on as the viewer and plant your seed, which is an idea, and I will fly to you to complete that. Any idea that pops into your head that fills you with joy, curiosity, or some sort of firing desire, I will come and help you finish your thoughts. What if somebody is in like Thailand? I'll fly there. Papua New Guinea, New Zealand. I'll go back there. <laughs> when are you starting this? It starts today. When are you going to leave New York? In three weeks. You just got here, Dan. I know, but then I'm coming back. Okay. I have to do this. This is That's essentially what I want to do and utilize YouTube for now. And, and that sounds awesome. Make sure you go to Dan's website and plant your seed inside it. No, dude. No, not that one. Plant your seed on the site. Not in the site. Not in. <laughs> that sounds awesome, Dan. Make sure you go to Dan's website and plant your seed today. Is that good? That was good. There you go, the 50 bucks. Yeah, a bit off the camera. Okay. Welcome to the Not Normal Map, where the show really starts with you. Start by entering one, your city, and two, your seed. My team then selects the most compelling seeds each week to become a collaborative video between you and I around the globe, wherever you are. This is Not Normal, a dedicated outlook on following through on more of your thoughts. Whoa, 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 just before we end this, I just want to say a thank you to BNH for sponsoring all the gear for season two. I was able to go to their headquarters and choose all the gear that we would need to make this possible. So thank you, BNH. It's really incredible to be able to say that we've developed a relationship. And another major sponsor of season two is Epidemic Sound. They made the outro track. It's dope. I'm gonna play it now. Don't forget, you're awesome, bro, and I'll see you when season two starts in three weeks' time.